estaba grabando, tiene el surcos blanco. Ok, so, I'm James, I'm sitting here in uh, Guatemala, in Burger King, uh, in 6th Avenue. 6th yeah. Avenue? Yeah, 6th yeah. Avenue. Avenue. That's right. All right. Um, I've met some friends here. Well, we met through the through the program. I'll let them introduce themselves. Um, but we were talking, uh, and we decided we had to do a video <laughs> because they're trying to teach me It's how fine. to say. El perro corrió y de repente paró. El perro corrió y de repente paró. Paró, paró. No paró, paró. Y perro y perro. Okay. So, uh, so we're, we're trying to figure this out. Okay, but please first, um, all of these guys uh, are are studying English, right? Yeah. And so. Yes. Uh, okay. Introduce yourselves. Okay. Uh, hi, my name is Ariel. I'm 23 years old. I live here in Guatemala City, and so I'm so glad to to, to meet with you. Mm -hmm. And they are my friends. Right. Yeah. My name is Estuardo. I am uh, 48 years old. So it's a pleasure to meet you, James. Great. Because we're having a really good time right. with you. So. We are happy because we are practicing with you a lot of our English. It's easy, right? Yeah, it's easy. So, and funny too. And, <laughs> and funny. And you are it's teaching easy. Spanish so far because you are practicing your Spanish too. That's exactly yeah. right. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'll pay you later. <laughs> okay, okay. Right. So what about you? Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Giovanni. I'm 29 years old. And I'm enjoying this. I hope you enjoyed this video with my friends. And I hope to learn more English with my friend here. Uh -huh. uh, that's it. <laughs> uh, no, that's not it. That's not, no, it. not, not yet. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Not yet. So, okay. What What we're doing here is um, we're practicing English and Spanish together. So this exactly. is this is like the share lingo model. Um, cuando estoy hablando en español, ellos pueden ayudarme, corregirme, reír. They can laugh at me. Right? I love it. Uh, uh, I love it. Right? It's funny. But that, um, that makes it more comfortable, right? Yeah. yeah. When, more comfortable. We're, when we're laughing together, it's more comfortable. So, uh, tell me, and we'll do this again later, all right? Okay. But okay. Why do you guys need to speak English? You live in Guatemala. Well, in my case, because right now I'm working in a company who import clothes from Europe. But I need to learn English for working in a call center, for example, because in call center you can earn more money. You sure. know? Yes, exactly. That's why I want to learn. And another, in another hand, I want to learn English because in the future I want to travel. I want to travel and English is a universal language and I need to know that. So what I'm finding right now is... Um, these guys speak English, all right? But if I go to, like here at Burger King, none of the people who are working at the counter speak English. Exactly. Um, anytime I go into a store, or if I get a taxi or an Uber driver, um, none of them speak English. No, no, no. And so what Ariel told me is, no, the people in the stores don't speak English. If they speak English, they work in a call center where they make more money. Right? That's right. That's right. So that's right. What I'm saying is, if you want to travel and be comfortable, you need to speak Spanish because the people who speak English, you're not going to find them. Okay? Yes. Right. That's, that's right. So for you guys, okay, Ariel. So you want to you want to work in a call center? Yes, I want to work in a call center. Great. Yes. For example, conduit. It's right. a very good call center here in Guatemala because in that place exists a premium account uh -huh. where you can earn a lot of money. For example, a Royal Caribbean account. Right. You can earn, you, you can earn more than 10,000 cues per month. Wow. And if I work in another place, I can't, I can't earn that money, so, that kind of money. Um, We'll talk about that another time. That's a different video. It's okay. like, what is the cost of living and uh, how much do people earn? We'll do that in another video. Okay. okay? And well, in my case, uh, for me, uh, learn, for me, learning English is uh, is very exciting because you you have the ability to understand uh, another language. And you are exercise, exercising your brain too. Of course. So, right. but it's good because, as my friend told told us, that when you learn English, you have a lot of uh, oh, doors open. Oh, yeah. Doors open to get uh, another areas of work. 
For example, now, now I am working in a body shop, but I'm trying to change that job for a, a soft job, you know? I mean, uh -huh. it's better to me earn money speaking English than hitting the, the, the parts of a car, you know, with a hammer. So that's that. That's the, I'm, I'm learning English, but it's good because I'm now I, uh, I can understand a lot more so, than eighty percent of the language. So the three of you guys um, are studying English in a university, right, or in a in a school? No, no, it's, it's an, an academy. academy. Yeah, it's an academy. Yeah. Okay, it's a language. It's a language school. Yes, yeah, yeah, language school. Yeah, yeah. Language, okay, yeah. an academy. All right. So, who do you practice with? Uh, together each other I mean just uh, people so, in the class like, we so, don't have a native speaker who yeah we don't have a native speaker yes. we have a coach in the academy uh -huh. so when we practice practice our English we start discussing some talking some Topic, topics, topics together uh -huh. so that's why we try to practice our English so. and, and that is one of the reasons why uh, what when I see what Cheryl Lingo do I was so interested in that because a uh, Cheryl Lingo introduced to you with native speaker from United States and that's awesome because I can uh, I can practice and improve my areas of course so uh, for the people watching does this sound like a meetup group to you all right uh, in the United States we have something called meetup groups and uh, there's there's meetup groups for all things like hiking and it's just people who get together and they have the same interests there's meetup groups to speak Spanish and usually it's um, three or four or eight or ten gringos um, who want to speak Spanish okay. and they only speak to each other so we only speak to each other yeah, yeah. Spanish. yeah. And like us and we don't have any native yeah. speakers yeah. to speak to each other right <laughs> yeah. and so um, what ShareLingo is about is the idea that it's all of us who really want to practice Spanish, right? Uh, you can't you can't speak another language until you find somebody to practice with. But there's all other people in Central and South America, all right, who are sitting there trying to speak English and they're practicing with each other. ShareLingo helps the two sides connect. And more than that, we have the materials and the resources to help both sides be effective practicing together. So, uh, what about you, you? Okay, in my case, it's uh, well, two things. First of all, and the first of all, I want to change my environment because I'm boring speaking Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Yes. 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 I, want, I want to learn English and Mandarin, Chinese. Oh wow. Yes. Okay. Yes, because I, ha I, I already have the eyes. <laughs> I, I already had the eyes. Like a, I, like an Asian person. I'm an he's, he's an alien. He's an alien out here. Yeah. 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 Do, uh, really do people cool. call you Chino? Yeah. Or yeah. Sometimes, yeah. right? Yes. Well, well, my my father was from Taipei, Taiwan. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Obviously, yes. Really? Obviously, I, I didn't know. That. Yes. <laughs> obviously, my father is speaking Mandarin, but ah. I didn't of know that. You know, I wanna know. learn that. And the second one is I wanna earn more money. That is the point. Here in Guatemala, you if you speak another language, you have the open doors and a lot of opportunities to earn more money. If you in, for example, in this case, you have only Spanish. Obviously, it doesn't exist a lot of uh, works opportunity okay. All right. only in English. So I wanna. Um, so Diego. Uh, Diego's behind the camera, right? Okay. Now, so Hi, Diego. Hi, Hi, Diego. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, Diego, come over here because I want to ask something really important for these guys. All right. So, all of you have said that you want to learn English for like to get better work, right? Mm, yes. That's so my right. question is, so that's your that's your dream. Yeah. Yeah. It's part of. Work. Have you ever heard? <clears throat> a dream without a date. Oh, oh, okay, yes. no. A I goal. Have, a have, goal yeah. without a date is just a dream. That's right. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. A goal without a date is just a dream. Okay. Yes. Uh, Tony Robbins or somebody famous said that. It's not yes. mine, right? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, my question to you guys is: How can you change your dream to a goal? Can you put a date like? When do you want to get 
a job in a call center. Do you want to do that by December? Do you want to do that by one year from now? Like, what is what is the date that you guys when? Yeah, yeah. According to me, uh, I think in two months, I I will be willing to go to a uh, apply in a call center. Uh-huh. And I hope that I I can get the, that job that I need. Great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. In two months. Two okay. months. Yeah, so. two months. It could be July or August or yeah. Okay. So you're going to go start. You're going to go start looking for yeah, call for centers me. who are yeah. applying, right? Yeah. When are you going to do that? Where? Where? No. When are you? When, when are you going months. to begin looking? In two months. In two months. I'm going to start looking for start, the places. Why don't you start because, looking today? Because I yes. don't have enough time to go there because I'm working now. Currently I'm working. But, but you can look for who is hiring. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So, and then what you can you do? If you look now for who's hiring, you can do research about that company. Uh, so you yeah, know everything right. about that company. Oh, you have read yeah, that's every a good website, yeah, that's a good every point. document. You go to the stores, you know about you know AT and T, or you know about T Mobile, you know about Metro whatever. PCS. Okay, uh, you know how they work. How they? You can find other people who already work there. And yeah. Ask them about that, and then when you apply two months from now, you're ready. Yeah. Right. I have the Everything. knowledge knowledge enough to right. to to talk about the company if they if they start asking me about them right sure uh, okay so start today don't yeah. start two months from now okay yeah. thank you guys right thank you guys you guys we what do you want to do that. when uh, in my case I think on October 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 yes okay why October uh, because uh, right now I have only the fifty five percent and if. Uh, 75%. Okay, that's right. Uh, in my case, I'm thinking to go into applying a call center maybe in 15 days. Wow. Two yes. Weeks. <laughs> in two weeks, maybe. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's why I wanna I wanna learn and improve some areas on my English because I need to achieve uh, more uh, improve my pronunciation and extend my vocabulary. Great. So, just the thing is, in call center, you don't you don't have to use all the vocabulary that we are talking right now. So yeah. It's just for the, the right. what, kind of, depend what kind of depend what kind of exactly yeah. yes you don't need it to have ninety uh, percent of your English right. I mean but in fifteen days I'm going to apply excellent yes. okay good job okay um, all right so uh, we're gonna put this down here and thank you thank you very all much right. James nice to meet you nice to meet you nice to meet you okay so guys um, thank you uh, for being here listening through this I hope it was interesting for you there's so many Spanish speakers who are ready to practice with you and that's the one thing holding you back from really speaking Spanish so this is the way to leap over that hurdle okay okay I'm James from the Sherlingo project ciao for now bye, bye everybody bye. okay no, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, okay. I feel comfortable. James, I would like you have the possibility to share the videos with us. Yes, yes. of course. We, we can see that in I the... I would like to, to, to share.